Freezing cells is typically a, a two-stage process in which cells are in incubated for some time at around minus 7 degrees Celsius before being stored permanently at minus 140 degrees Celsius. As previously stated, cells must be cooled at a rate of about minus 1 degrees per minute in a freezer at minus 70 degrees Celsius. This is achieved with the reuse of a controlled rate freezer or controlled rate chamber. The length of time needed in the minus 70 would depend on the type of chamber used. After spending some time at minus 70, usually a few hours to 24 hours, the valves must be transferred to minus 140 degrees Celsius for long-term storage. The best recommended storage container is liquid nitrogen tanks. As I just stated, for long-term storage of mammalian cells, um, it's required that they be exposed to temperatures below minus 140 degrees Celsius. At these low temperatures, metabolic activity ceases, allowing for the preservation of cells for an indefinite period of time. For storing biological material at these low temperatures, it is highly advisable to use liquid nitrogen containers. There are two basic types of liquid, uh, liquid nitrogen storage practices. One is immersing the valves directly in the liquid. The other involves holding the valves in a vapor phase above the liquid. Vapor phase systems create a vertical temperature gradient within the container. At the bottom, the liquid nitrogen will maintain a temperature of around minus 196 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the vapor, uh, the vapor phase uh, decreases as it reaches the top portion of the container. Enough liquid should be used to guarantee that the warmest part of the container at the top is always at a temperature uh, at or under minus 140 degrees Celsius. It is highly recommended that valves be stored in the vapor phase rather than the liquid. Since metabolic activity is arrested at minus 140 degrees, the, addition of cold, the additional cold temperatures of the liquid phase offers no real advantage. However, immersing material in the liquid phase runs the risk that some of the liquid nitrogen could penetrate and damage the, valve, the plastic valves.